Yeah, g'day everybody. Um, just picked up my uh, travelling lockbox from Bosnian Bill. <coughs> um, got here a lot quicker than I thought it did, or was going to. Um, normally takes quite a few weeks because they, uh, well, it says on the top here scan events required, signature required. But uh, I think that was just for a, that's a new thing from our our in this time. I must be getting a lot of this stuff through being Christmas time, and they're um, maybe relaxed on the old uh, X-raying X-raying all the packages that come in or something. I'm not sure. All right, let's just give it an open up. Now, as I take it, this is the travelling lockbox, and uh, the rules of the game are: pick a lock, pick it, send it off. Well, send the rest of the box off, and uh, replace the lock that you picked with another. I've been racking my absolute brain trying to think of who I can send it to that I've known for a while and that I can trust. So, um, see what comes of this video. See who, see who the lucky recipient is. But uh, I would like it to be somebody that I've known for a little while. Let's cover that address up. Hang on. Oh my god, this thing weighs a ton. destroy my address on there just in case uh, I get far too many calls from female nymphomaniacs bashing my door down or something silly go okay, got a bit of tape on here again Packaging count as a pick job? Oh no, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is awesome. Let's check the video now because I just found another address on it. So if it's on there, sorry, but I'm going to have to do it again. I'll keep going with this one. Seven five master cutaway. How nice is that? Sorry, gawking at it. Probably can't even see it yet. Some cutaway. Very sweet. Ace padlock. Oh, quick set. Looks like one of those uh, new re key jobbies. This one? Ah, another quick set with a key. Get it the right way up, Mick. Bloody hell. What, like Christmas time? Uh 
Ha! Oh, no, there she goes. Probably just been rattled around a little bit in transit. There we go. Yeah. I can imagine that they got a bit of a thumping on the way across. power. No idea what that means. I should imagine it be from power company. Uh, like we get here by padlocks for our um for our meter boxes these go on so when the guys rock up they can just unlock it, take the reading and then lock it back up. They don't have to annoy anybody knocking on doors or waiting for you to come home. I, I think it's just a bit of a guess. Oh the best. D keyway. Sorry if you're not getting all this on just a little bit overwhelmed by all the uh, gear in this box. Brinks. Rinks laminated. Oh my god, there's no bottom to this box. And the Brinks. All locked up. Whoa. Bureau. I've seen this one before. Somewhere. I have a couple of bureaus, they're actually quite good. A master. Uh, I have no idea what what model this is. Although we do we are seeing increasingly more and more master locks now. We used to get Shelves and shelves of them at a place called uh, one of our hardware outlets called Bunnings, but been taken over massively by master locks now. I was quite lucky to find anything with Lockwood written on it anymore. Ah, oh, I've got some keys, still brinks. Keys to that one. And I hope I'm not mumbling, sorry. Oh, American seventy-two sixty. I love picking the American locks. There's so much difference to what we normally get here. We hardly get any security pins in the uh, Lockwood or Gainsborough locks, which are actually Tessa. Every now and again you'll get lucky with a, um, oh there's the keys to the Vero, found him in there, come out of the box. Uh, what was I saying? No, oh, I don't know. So, little Brinks. If I remember rightly, these have got a spool or two in them. And a Chateau, public storage. Like that. Oh, I see a piece of chain in the bottom. Oh, nice. Look at that. Hope you can see that okay. American lot. US printed on the back or stamped on the back. Tricky. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, I'm going to leave that one in there for a bit. You probably all know what that is rattling around in there, but... Ooh, Ilko. <laughs> Headlock. Some more keys for a brink, so I would say that'd be so. No. Check that out in a minute. And here we go, look at this. Sergeant and Greenleaf Environmental. Look at that bad boy right there. I like how they do the chain on it. Nobody understands what the chain's for over here. <coughs> Just checking that. Oh, there's a key in there. Ah, that is for that. No, it's not. It's for that. Oh, look at that. Fits like a bum in a bucket. <coughs> Seven last little dig around in there. All right, this is awesome. Set that box aside. Clean up my mess. I'll get bashed when the wife gets home, finds little bits of white gear everywhere. No, I won't. She won't bash me. She just punched me around a bit. Anyway, here we go. Oh, I did find them. I knew there was another set. I just couldn't remember where I put them. There she is. How awesome is this little haul? Can't believe it. Okay, well, I haven't, I haven't picked out one yet, but I'll put this uh, video up just to let um, Bosnia and Bill know that I have received it, and I'll send him a message as well. Um, what an awesome haul. I can't believe it. So I'm very generous, very generous man. Seen some uh, videos on YouTube from some of the other packages that he sent out, and um, yeah, I'm going to have a hard time figuring out which one I'm going to try and pick. And also the other hardest thing is who I'm going to send it to. But uh, well, I'll have to work on that one. All right, but thank you very much, Bill. Just to let you know that they are here a lot earlier than I thought they were going to be. Seems it's uh, nice and close to Christmas time. They normally take a month or two. So, oh, here we go. Awesome. So thank you very much, sir, and uh, I will be getting in contact with you very, very shortly. See you guys.